Today we answer the question, which game engine is better at making a car game? We've got three great game developers who are gonna be going for it and battling it out. Participants, start your engine. Three, two, one. Let's see what the starting point was for each of the participants. I'm using Godot, and there are vehicle bodies available in Godot, but I've taken the old faithful shortcut of just having a sphere and using that and rolling it around at ultra high speeds. Gorka, what do you start with in Unreal? So I'm using default vehicle template in Unreal. It comes out of the box with all the physics and all the cool stuff with Unreal. You've got a game already, man. This Unreal gives you <laughs> a, such a head yeah, start. Yeah, I got Forest Horizon already. Steven, what are you starting with in Unity? In Unity, there's actually these really cool components, what's referred to as a wheel collider. So these wheel collider components are attached to each individual wheel and they come out of the box with all of these properties that you can modify. I, oh my gosh, you just gave me like the worst, best idea. Gorka is way in the lead. I can't help but feel like I destroyed everything. We're going to delete all of this code that we don't know on. This is bravery, my friends. Three minutes gonna... in a battle and trying to implement an unknown feature from scratch. I'm hoping to go for like a nice cartoony aesthetic, so I'm hoping it'll look good. I'm also hoping my car will look fast. Is anyone making multiplayer? Because of the way they wheel components are speeding up the truck, it's basically taking like the torque or how fast the wheel is spinning and then the friction of the wheel is what's speeding up the truck. I've had a hard time in the past to kind of get that accelerating very quickly. So I'm going ahead and making a new level. I felt like the racetrack was like cheating, so I'm going to make my own little map. Oh, how long will it be throughout this process until we discover the type of game you're making? So, I guess it's gonna be pretty obvious in just a couple minutes. I mean, I'm gonna hint here that this is an arena, so there's gonna be like a lot of explosions and crashing going on. You can actually kind of see what I'm trying to do right away, which is I've got this spline here. I'm gonna change what is currently kind of like an over the shoulder racing game to like a top down go kart sort of game. So, with like maybe some boosts and some power ups if I can get there is kind of what I'm aiming for. I'm not seeing a lot of driving at the moment. So, well, as I say that, Bram jumps in and starts driving. There you go. Bram's winning at the moment. Are you cheering for Godot or Unreal or Unity? Oh, yeah, that's a professional looking track if I've ever seen one myself. I will admit, I'm hugely jealous of the white stripes and I'm totally adding that to mine right now. I give you permission. I think I'm done. How much time do we have? Done. I can just yeah, drive wait. around this track. I've got wait. my top down view. Am I done? Let's compare yours with Bram's at the moment. Bram's is all like, oh, zing, just... whoa, zow, and yours is putt, 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 putt. So if that's the goal, <laughs> Like, if you've got a driving Miss Daisy kind of game going on there. i just like to say that Gorka is winning in terms of being hardcore programmer, because it looks like he's sitting in the dark. And although the rest of his room's not dark, it's just he's sitting... He's got a little spot in his room where no light touches the programmer. So I think that's quite hardcore. You would think... Gor I mean, Gorka's up to, what, like a million subscribers on YouTube? you think he could afford some, like, nice streaming lights by now. I mean, come on, get with the program. I think he just took his whole rig to a hotel because he's escaping some sort of like crypto dark web thing that he's set up and he doesn't want anyone to know where he actually lives. Right, I'm here, you know, in Brazil. Oh, <laughs> you had to think about where you were at. I'm here in uh, Brazil. If you're interested in what you're seeing here and you're excited to make your own video games, well then be sure to check out the Game Dev TV courses. And if you're lucky, you might even find a course that's taught by Bram or Gorka or Steven. If you enjoy their particular style of dancing through life, I really want to see your game sped up by by like double the speed, Steven. Like your car. You know what's funny? I, oh my gosh, you just gave me like the worst best idea. Would it just be like the most absurd thing if I just like turned the entire time scale of the game up? I think it might work. I'm just gonna try this. So I'm just gonna do a little awake. We're gonna delete all of this code that we don't know on. I don't even remember how to do it. Is it time dot time scale? Is that what it is? Yeah, yeah. So it's default one. We're just gonna set it to like two. Two. There you go. No, you know what? Set it to five. It's far more fun to set something gonna be way like higher than five. This is what it means to be a game designer, by the way, kids. Getting there and saying, you know what? Let's make it five instead of two. And having a programmer like, be like, okay. that sounds dumb. I feel like this is gonna be bad. Okay. Whoa! That's a million times better. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, this actually was such a good idea, Rick. I mean, crashy, crashy. There you go. Okay. Physics feels a little bit weird, but it actually like is not bad. Yeah. I don't think I'm supposed to be giving you feedback. That's not very <laughs> impartial of me. Hey, Bram, you want some yeah, feedback on yours? Yes, as well? please. How do I make it better? You know what? Actually, I do have some feedback for you, Bram. It mm -hmm. might be too late, but I would make your track a little bit smaller for this kind of short, quick, exciting, maybe more 
more turns, more quicker, and less straights, if that makes sense. Right. I like your approach, just scaling it all together. It's going to make the whole I, track narrower now. Okay, good, I can't good. Help, I, like I can't help but feel like I destroyed everything in that process. No, that's the kids. Right, right. There you go. You can see the real way that game development works. Hey, let's just <laughs> jankily scale everything down so the track's smaller. And uh, let's just double the whole speed of our game so the car goes faster. This is game development at its finest. Every time I look at Gorka's screen, he's driving over people. And every time I look over, he doesn't <laughs> drive over just one and say, oh yeah, yeah, that's working. He drives over all of them. I need to make sure it's working, you know? I'm really you curious what your game's gonna look like, Gorka. Yours at the moment is the most, I don't know what that's gonna be, the actual game. You know, you never know, but it is shaping very nicely. Good. I want to give that kind of prototype you know, vibe into it. Oh, Bram's got some smoke particle action happening there. How difficult or easy is it to make quick particles in Godot? Well, I made these ahead of time. That wasn't what I was asking, <laughs> but good to know. Like, it was more on a... Because in Unity, they're pretty easy. You click mm -hmm. particles and, like, click, click, and there it is. In Unreal, yeah. the... I always want to call it the Viagra system, the Niagara system. You know, pretty powerful, pretty amazing. But I'm not familiar with Godot particle effects and whether it's a pretty easy-to-use system or whether it takes... It three hours of magic. The Godot particle system's gotten a lot easier over time to use, post 4.0 coming out. I would just like to say that I have realized that Gorka is way in the lead to win this contest Shocker. because I think oh he's God. making Carmageddon I mean, look at this. and really changed me as a young man when I played Carmageddon a million years ago. It was one of the greatest experiences where I'd look over my shoulder and make sure that no adult would walk in the room and be like, what the hell are you doing? Driving over people in a car game. Wait, I should have like a guy on top of the car or something actually. I think your car needs to go faster as well, Gorka. Yeah, yeah, I'm playing with the controls of the car which is the chaos system from real but it's actually pretty complex because it kind of simulates like real life you know variable so you know as we only have one hour i haven't got a lot of time to play with it but i'm trying my best wow it's really uh, cool midway through you talking your lights brightened up it's as if your camera realized wait wait we need it, it knows when i talk right divert divert energy to showing gorka bright on the screen wow, oh, there's that. a guy standing on the car what is this magic it's Steven, crazy you car? you've got a pickup truck you could have some people sitting in the back like having a little party on the back of your pickup truck yeah, right now this looks pretty crazy but in two minutes it will make sense i it's took like, your idea you... of making a party it was but probably i decided to make a vertical party oh well, yeah that. i've got the party perfect now kind of coming from like and then i was just supposed to kind of look like brake tracks so yeah, it, they only basically i have some trail renderers only working when i'm like turning tight corners right. you know see so if i turn like eh, fall off the track but it, it doesn't necessarily only work when I'm grounded, so it still kind of works when I'm in yeah. the air right now. <laughs> I was wondering, you're floating through the air and you're still yeah. leaving skid yeah. marks everywhere. Like, you must have been yeah. really scared if you're leaving skid marks while flying through the air. Yeah. I will say the colliders have been a huge improvement and I'm already in love with them. They're very nice. That's exactly what this game needed. I really like this camera. Like, this is old school kart style, racy. What's the terminology for this? micro machines type type camera direction you've got going on there i like it yeah i'm gonna zoom it out just a wee bit more just i'm finding it a little bit tricky to see where i'm going but i think we're at a pretty good place i've also changed my cinema machine camera to kind of look ahead so it changes slightly the direction based on the direction i'm driving it kind of tries its best to like predict the future based on which direction i'm going which is kind of cool so i've got my little rock pile here kind of as like a bump that the monster truck can roll over but i just want like a bunch of them right so as you're you're making fun of me before like i would never want to like hand place all of them so i'm going to take these three i'm going to duplicate it a few more times i'm just going to quickly create like i don't know a hundred of them and then i'm actually going to go over over here to my inspector and i can type in r and then in parentheses i can randomize the amount for all of them if i just go from negative 100 to 100 and then you can actually see that it randomized them all on the x-axis i can copy this put it over here on the z-axis and boom that's awesome. I've got a bunch of... That was really just, useful. Then I just oh, but then the you jumped over the I'm fence and now you're stuck forever. I'm stuck inside here now. <laughs> well, there you go. I think I think you need a death plane in the middle of the fence. Then it's like, brow, restart the level. How much time do we have? You got three <laughs> minutes to make a death plane and to restart. Uh, scene uh, management, can, it wouldn't be a battle if we don't car. have at least one bit of scene management going on in there. I got three minutes to blow up the car if I land inside. I'm going to go for it. Yeah, do it. Do it. This is bravery, my friends. Three minutes gonna... in a battle and trying to implement an unknown feature from scratch. Three, two, 
one, and time is up. So Bram, what have you created in Godot in one hour? So what we've got here is we've got a great big track made out of a Bezier curve and a starting point. And when you drive through the starting point, you enter a time trial. There are lots of rigid bodies that you can crash into, coins that you can collect and speed you up. And by the time you make it back to the starting point, you get given a high score best time. And then you can try and iterate and improve on that by getting better times, which will get easier and easier the more coins you get. If I can actually pick any of these up. Ignore those floating guys, I don't know what they were doing there. But fundamentally, it was just an opportunity to play with a load of physics. And there we go, we've got a best lap time in the top right, and I have fallen to my death. And my collider that was supposed to catch that is working, as you can see. Yeah, look at that. When you fall oh. off the track, you instantly restart the whole level. Okay, Gorka, working in Unreal. Show us what you got. Okay, so I have a crazy chaos party game where you need to pick up as you know many people as possible. Overall, it's pretty fun. You know, I don't know if you noticed, but I was spending like half the time playing the game. So you know, the intention is just to make it fun, kind of have a like a you know game jam vibe into it. I have also like Rocket League vibes in terms of the car. I, th I think it's pretty cool, you know, it's in one hour. Steven, let's talk Unity. What do you got? I created a little top down monster truck rally game. I feel like you would imagine this sort of game to be multiplayer, but I'm pretty happy with what I was able to set up in an hour. I used a couple out of the box assets. I'm what's referred to as a Unity asset hoarder, proudly self-acclaimed. And I was able to spruce it up with a few of those assets right out of the box, but Using that Unity time scale suggestion to kind of make everything just fill faster. Potholes, well, the opposite of potholes, all of these kind of things that we've created on my road made everything maybe a little bit too bumpy, but it actually feels pretty good. I've got some trail renderers kind of coming out from the back of each individual wheel when I'm basically making any sort of tight turn and these little ramps. I Everything feels unnaturally slippery, so I tried to quickly just create some sort of raining particle that I could just kind of sprinkle down it's actually just parented directly to the monster truck so it's just following around the truck in my scene to kind of make everything just feel a little bit more slippery visually there we go three very different car games in godot unreal and unity leave a comment below as to which game engine you think is best for making car type games